Well, as we know, Al, um, there have been so many regulation changes ahead of the 2014 Formula One season. I think the one rule that will have the biggest impact uh, throughout the season is the 100 kg uh, fuel limit allowance. Um, as we saw with Daniel Ricciardo in Australia, he drove a fantastic race and now he was celebrating. And the next thing you know, he's disqualified because the car uh, went over the 100 kg uh, fuel limit. So I think that that rule will have the biggest impact um, this season and I think it's a real shame that drivers are now having to judge when to push and not to push when really they should be able to be on the limit from the start of the race until the end of the race um, but the rules are rules and the FIA have introduced uh, the 100 kg fuel limit allowance so I think that's the uh, rule that I think will have the biggest impact uh, this season. If I'm being honest with you, Ethan, um, I don't think we will see many changes uh, regarding the lack of uh, lack of noise. Um, we know that the FIA want to introduce greener technologies into the sport. Uh, we only had one race as well, so I think I think it's too early to be thinking about changes. And I think the FIA, if they are to make any changes, um, I think we'll decide to make those changes at the end of the season. So, like I said, I, I can't see any changes be made um, to the lack of noise uh, although uh, I've, I've spoken to some of the fans um, and they said that they do miss the uh, roaring V8 engines and you know you can't blame them but with the FIA like I said wanting to introduce green technologies into the sport um, I can't see um, any changes being made. Well, Paul, um, Renault certainly have got a lot of catching up to do um, if they want to overtake Mercedes um, you know, this, this season. Um, you know, five, five of the retirements uh, at Australia were, you know, were Renault-based cars. So I think that Renault have got a big task on their hand um, and Mercedes look as if they've well, the Mercedes power teams anyway, at the moment look like they're going to uh, dominate uh, this season. But you wouldn't back against Renault bouncing back, and particularly Red Bull, you wouldn't bounce, you, know, you wouldn't bet against them um, winning races this year. So I think Renault have got a big job on their hands to overtake Mercedes, but I don't think it's impossible uh, for them to be on par with Mercedes this, this season. Yeah, Matthew, um, no doubt it will, it will be um, a sort of feeling. Malaysia, you know, we all know uh, what's happened. Um, but yeah, the Grand Prix, the Grand Prix should go ahead, and um, you know, I, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I know weather, weather conditions looks like we're in for another uh, wet weekend, and um, yeah, I can't right wait. And you know, we've had some really good races at Malaysia, and I think we'll be in for a, another great race in at Sepanga this year. So. Yeah, the Grand Prix, I think, you know, will go ahead, and I'm very much uh, looking forward to it. So my views on the Red Bull uh, fuel uh, fuel gauge uh, saga, um, I really feel for Daniel Ricciardo. I really do. Um, I thought he drove an absolutely fantastic race in front of his home crowd in Australia, and then the next thing you know, he ends up being disqualified through no fault of his own. Um, I, you know, the rules are rules, and unfortunately, um, I can't see uh, Red Bull uh, winning their appeal. Although I'd like them to win their appeal, but I don't think they will. Um, but Daniel, you know, he, he proved you know, that he, he can step up, and I think uh, I personally think he will give Sebastian Vettel a run for his money this year. I don't think Sebastian will all his own way. Um, I think Daniel will be, I think he will finish behind Sebastian uh, this season, but I would not be surprised at all if uh, Daniel um, now beats Sebastian um, in, in some of the weekends this year, this season. So I think regarding the fuel gauge saga, um, I can't see Red Bull winning their appeal. Um, I think the 100 kg uh, fuel limit allowance, this is just my view, I think it's absolutely absurd. Um, but 
I think that you know, rules are rules, and unfortunately, I don't, I don't think Red Bull uh, will win their appeal. So my predictions for Malaysia, um, we've already we've already touched on this. Um, I think we are we're going to be in for a wet weekend, changeable conditions, and we all know uh, one driver in particular who loves the changeable conditions, and that's Jensen Button. And Jensen's mighted to win this weekend. Uh, I think McLaren it's a very strong weekend in Australia. So happy to see them back up you know, where they should be. Um, having had a disastrous 2013 season. So my tip to win uh, the race is, uh, is Jensen Button. I think McLaren, uh, if, they can, can, if they can build on you know, their encouraging side in Australia, who knows Who knows what, what they can achieve this year. And you know we all know that Jensen is very good in changeable conditions. So I'm gonna go for Jensen Button to win the race. And as the pole position, I think, um, I think Lewis. I think Lewis Hamilton will once again put the um, We'll put the Mercedes on pole. Uh, Mercedes are you know, looking very strong indeed. I know Lewis um, retired from the race at, uh, at Albert Park, but you know he could take a lot of positives definitely from from the weekend. So I think Lewis will put the car on pole, but I think Jensen Button will um, come out on top, providing providing that it does rain. Um, if it doesn't rain, then I can see a Mercedes uh, driver, whether that would be Lewis or Rosberg, winning. So if it stays dry. I think either Lewis or Rosberg will win, but if it's changeable conditions, I can see Jensen Button winning. So that's uh, that's the first uh, edition of Ask Manish over for 2014. Do keep the F1 questions coming in. Um, you can send them to at Baggies20 on Twitter, and I look forward to reading them. And I just want to end on one final, uh, one final note. Uh, Michael Schumacher and Michael, we are already right behind you. Um, want to wish you a I want to wish you a speedy recovery, stay strong and keep fighting, we're all behind you Michael.